What's going on everybody? Mike McIntyre here back with a brand new video. This is one that I have been getting a lot of requests about. So today, let's take a look at these Puma Futures. Before we get started, I need to give a quick shout out to Evangelista Sports for sponsoring this video. They are the ones that hooked me up with these boots, so if you guys are interested in this pair right here or anything else, be sure to check out that first link down below in the description. It is an affiliate link, it always helps myself and Evangelista Sports out, so thank you guys for checking it out, and let's get into the video. What's up guys, Mike McIntyre from All Things Sports back with a brand new video today. I'm showing you the Puma Future 19.1s. These are part of the Eclipse pack. So they came out a while ago, but I haven't been able to do a review on the brand new Puma Futures. I've done a review on both previous generation models. This is the first time I get a look at the 19.1s. So let's show you what's inside this box and review these Futures. So we're gonna flip open the box. And the first thing that you do see is the sort of net fit method system that they've got going on. They do that to sort of promote the different ways of, you know, lacing the boots up should you wish to choose. A bunch of paper. Let's get these out. Now these are pretty stealthy guys. I like these actually. These look really good from right out of the box. So let's talk, toss the box off to the side. There we go, there we go guys. There's a quick look at the Puma Future 19.1s. So these are obviously the third generation, the third release of this Puma Future. We haven't seen these before. Uh, they completely sort of revolutionized the upper. It's still sitting on a very similar sole plate. That hasn't changed much. They sort of tweaked the collar, but the upper is really what's brand new. On previous generations, we had this base synthetic upper. The sort of collar was made out of their Evo knit material. This time the upper and the net fit system are sort of combined into the same material in a way. They kind of take the upper material, you know, carve out the holes where they're going to give you that net fit system, but it's sort of built into the upper. It's sort of fused into the upper, if that makes any sense. So, so the upper, as you can see, it does have this very unique feel to it. It's not the most plush, I suppose, from right out of the box because there's a lot going on to it. So it does feel a little bit firm from right out of the box. It's definitely not even close to the softest sort of upper that I've ever felt. It does feel like it would be quite responsive though, I must admit that, just given the nature of the upper material. It's quite firm, it's got a very sort of, you know, thickness to it, but I bet, I guess firm is the right way to put it because it's not overly thick. There's not too much padding to it, but you do sort of get that slight impression around this area on the inside. There is a little bit there, but it just gets this sort of firm, rigid feeling upper, so it doesn't feel that, you know, flexible from out of the box. I suspect it'll change as you wear it, obviously, but again, from out of the box, the upper does sort of feel the way it looks, put it that way. It does have that sort of firm characteristic to it. The net fit system back here, like we said, is it's a little bit more rigid once again. It's sort of firmed up because it's built into the upper. I do like the way the collar looks from out of the box. I find the other ones are a little bit too, um, I don't know, exaggerate. They sort of exaggerated the cut of the collar up there. So I don't think it was the best collar. This one looks a little bit more slimmed down, a little bit more sort of I'll use the word streamline just to sort of tweak the shape of the collar. It just looks like it'll hug the ankle a little bit better, hopefully offering somewhat of a better fit. And that's pretty much it. I don't really have too much else to say about it. I mean, it does look really cool. I always like the future, but I must say with this release, I think the overall shape of the boot still maintains the same. I do like the collar once again. I'm a little bit, I like the fact that they sort of in integrated the net fit system into the upper. I do like that a little bit better than previous models, but I'm just not the biggest fan of the upper right away. I just think it's a little too much. I think it's a little firm. Sort of reminds me of, I don't actually, I don't really know what it reminds me of. It's got this, it does sort of feel to the touch out here, kind of like a Phantom Vision. It does have that rough sort of texture to it, but it's definitely a lot more rigid and firm than the Phantom Vision from brand new. So let's put it that way. I have to say, out of the two Puma models right now, I definitely think I would go for the Puma 1. I can't believe I'm saying that because a couple years ago, all I wanted was a Puma Future. I love the first two generations. They were soft and I thought they were a really cool idea. I still love the, the idea of this. I just second guess it just a little bit because of the firmness of the upper. I love the shape. I must admit that. I love the way the boot looks and I like its sort of profile. I just don't know about this four foot upper material. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. But let's slip them on, we'll talk about fit and feel and show you what they look like on feet. Okay guys, there we go. There's a quick look at the Puma Futures. Let's describe how they feel on feet from right out of the box. My first impression, one sliding my foot into it, was, I, don't, I can't believe I'm saying this, I actually thought the boot was almost a little bit narrow. I can't believe I'm saying that, given that the Future is one of the widest models 
on the market. I thought it would be really, really comfortable just sliding my foot in for the first time to sort of, you know, into this comfortable boot. However, I must admit, I don't think the tightness that I feel in the midfoot right now is from the narrowness of the boot. Instead, I actually believe it's a little bit more due to the upper and due to the way they have the laces sort of strung out from first impression. I would sort of tweak them a little bit. I find that middle lace right there is just going a little bit too low for my liking, so it's really wrapping the sort of archway of my foot and the midpoint. So I just find that it's squeezing my foot a little bit too much, so I would tweak the net fit system ever so slightly just to bring all of the laces a little bit closer to the middle, if you understand what I mean. In other words, higher up the shoe, higher up the side pieces of the shoe. So I think that's what's causing the sort of narrowness, I guess, that I'm sort of feeling in the midfoot. The forefoot is pretty much how I expected it to feel. It does have that slight padded feel to it, but again, the sort of firmness of the upper just adds for a little bit more of a tighter fit from right out of the box. I do think it'll soften up, but again, the nature of the material, thanks to that sort of texture that we see, is just a little bit rough and it's a little bit firm from out of the box. There's no getting around that. I think it's just, it's definitely going to be responsive. I have no doubt about that, but I don't, I don't think it'll be the most you know, plush and soft and padded material that you'll sort of feel on feet. Let's put it that way. I do really like the collar though. The first time I put my foot in, the collar is very natural. It, hung, it hugs your foot very, very nicely. Definitely go true to size. If you go up half a size, I think they'll be slightly too big. So I have my true to size here. I definitely would not go bigger than this. They fit me perfectly. That's pretty much it, guys. Mike McIntyre, All Things Sports. I'm signing off for now. Be sure to check out that first link down below in the description. Leave a like on the video. It always helps me out. Be sure to smash that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Until then, Mike McIntyre signing off. Take care. See you in the next one. Peace.